you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will demonstrate how to configure Zero Touch Deployment using the Unleashed Multisite Manager. The Unleashed Zero Touch Deployment feature simplifies the deployment for Unleashed networks managed by UMM. It is enabled by simple configurations on the UMM to speed up the deployment of multiple APs versus using a local UI or mobile app to deploy APs one by one at each Unleashed network location. The UMM allows you to set up multiple groups and subgroups. This is great for MSPs who are managing multiple Unleashed networks for various businesses. Zero Touch Deployment allows the MSP to create a template for one category of businesses and apply this configuration automatically to other businesses having the same configurations, such as the wireless LAN names and configurations, the portal login pages and welcome messages, radio settings, password, ACLs, and other specific configurations. To set up Zero Touch, you need to set up parameters for both the UMM and the master Unleashed AP of the new Unleashed network. On the UMM side, you create a backup file of the configuration you want to push to the new Unleashed network when it boots up. Then you would create a Zero Touch deployment rule with this configuration, specifying which group you want the Unleashed network to join when it is configured, and the backup file that will be pushed to the new Unleashed network. The configuration rule can be based on a configuration template name and UMM domain or IP address, the MAC address of the Master Unleashed AP in the new network you're installing, or it can point to a DHCP server to do the configurations. For Unleashed 200.7 or earlier releases, Unleashed does not support the new parameter configure template name and the UMM IP or domain name, so you can pre-configure a UMM rule with the Unleashed Master AP's MAC address. On the Unleashed side, you would use the Unleashed Setup Wizard to enable the UMM install, giving it the UMM domain or IP address. When the Unleashed Master AP registers to the UMM for the first time, the UMM matches the rule against the MAC address of the Unleashed Master AP and pushes the configuration file to the Unleashed Master. So from the dashboard, the first thing I want to do is go to Devices and I'm going to select the network that I want to back up. So in this case, I have one called Awani Art, and I'm going to select that network, and this is the one that I want to clone to a new network. So I would select Backup and Restore. The task name gives me the backup file automatically, but I'm going to append the word Art to this. I could upload the configuration. I could schedule the backup if I wanted to do that for a certain frequency or for a certain time of day. I'm not going to select that. Notice here that it says the maximum number of backup files for each device is 10. That can be changed in the administration. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and create the backup file. And it says that has been successful. So if I now go into my task, and you'll see if I click on this, it gives me the device name and the backup file name, and you'll notice that the word art is appended to that name. So the next step is to go into my Unleashed and create my Zero Touch rule. So I'm going to click on Create. I'm going to give it a deployment rule, and I'm going to call it art underscore studio. Next, it says assign Unleashed to a group and restore the selected configuration file. So this is the case if you are an MSP and you are going to clone that group, then you would select the group that you want to assign it to. So I'm going to open that up. And I, in this case, I'm going to say, I want to put this configuration in my Fresno art. I could then tick the box to select the backup file. And in this case, I'm going to select this backup file which is the one I just backed up. I'm going to give it a configuration template name. I'm going to call it Art Studio, so I'm going to match my deployment rule name up here. If I wanted to back it up with a MAC address, I could put the MAC address in here, and if I had multiple MAC addresses of multiple master unleashed APs, I could import those from a spreadsheet. I'm just going to use the configuration template name, and then I'm going to click on OK. And now you'll see that my template has been created. So if I click on this, notice that the group is Fresno Art, and this is the backup rule that I've created. So now I've set up the UMM. So the next step is to use the PK Wizard on the Unleashed site. From the Unleashed side, you'll boot up the factory Unleash and launch the setup wizard. So we have a typical install, or we have a UMM install. In this case, we're going to select UMM, and we'll put in the UMM domain or IP address. So I'm going to select the IP address. Next, we'll put in the configuration template name, and it says configuration template pre-stored in UMM for the Unleashed network. So if I go back to my Unleashed multi-site manager, 
the template name was Art Studio. That's the rule name, so that's the one that I want to use. So I'll put in Art Studio. And then the system name is whatever we want to call it. Since I'm renaming the system, I'm going to call it Fresno Coffee. And then we'll select Next. And it'll contact the UMM. And it'll say it's establishing connection between the UMM. And it says the connection to the UMM is successfully established and it's waiting for a response. So you're going to have to wait a couple minutes for this to configure itself. And over on the UMM, you'll see that the Art Studio Zero Touch is being applied. So we're going to go ahead and continue to wait for this to finish. So now it says it's deploying the configuration template and it's rebooting. And then this is going to take a few minutes. And after a few minutes, you'll get the status that says success. So that was a successful deployment. And then back on the Unleashed, it'll reboot. And then you log in to that IP address again of your master AP. And then you would type your admin login and password. That'll take you into it. So there we are. We have now successfully installed that. So you'll see that the zero touch deployment was successful. If I go back to my dashboard and then I click on my devices, look at the number of devices I have here, we see that we have our Fresno coffee. So it was successfully installed. And if I go ahead and click on that Fresno coffee, that should launch my Unleashed portal. So now we could go in with this dashboard and install new access points and switches and do my configuration management. So as you can see, Unleashed Zero Touch Deployment feature simplifies the deployment for Unleashed networks managed by the UMM to speed up the deployment of multiple APs versus using the local user interface or the mobile app to deploy APs one by one.